uh, um, you're so patient. You're so kind. Uh, it, you know, it's it's really nice. So tell me, let's start here. How uh, how did you get involved with this? I was in a production of A Christmas Carol at UNLV um, in 2016, it was, I think, mm -hmm. that Chris Edwards directed. Mm -hmm. And Kelly uh, played a bunch of parts in it. And we became fast friends along with Ashkana Raff, who was uh, in the graduating class that year, and Angel Mendoza. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got, I got close to some of the, the Vegas theater community. And so Kelly and I have just kept in touch. And, you know, recently, since we're all working from home um, and I'm auditioning from home in my little home studio with my key light and my backdrop, um, you have to call another actor to read with you on, on, you know, when you're doing TV auditions. And when I need a female reader, I, I say, hey, you want to do a Zoom call tomorrow? Do you want to read with ah. me? So I, when she mentioned that she was going to do Romeo and Juliet on Instagram, I said, do you need a Friar Lawrence? I'm conservatory trained, and um, I've done 17 of Shakespeare's plays, uh, some of the multiples of some of them. And I thought I had something to offer. And I love Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, and I didn't want to step on any of the, the teacher's toes. Mm -hmm. um, so I sort of had to back into it and say, Ms. Hawes, <laughs> uh, may I offer something? Um, because I knew how to break down text and how to crack it open and how to get, um, how to sort of pass along what I've learned over, you know, 11 years with the Shakespeare Festival on the East Coast. Um, the cracking open process of doing table work about, about Shakespeare, asking yourself all those minuscule questions about, mm -hmm. well, why does this character choose this word? Yeah, sure, we know it scans properly, but why this word? That's mm -hmm. what's kind of fascinating about working on Shakespeare. You can keep cracking it open. Deeper. You can. So I want to go back for a second though. Why Friar Lawrence? This was your idea. Oh uh, yeah, I love the Friar because um, he speaks almost entirely in verse. Mm -hmm. See, I've done most of the, I've done all the comedies and a lot of the parts that I play are largely in prose. Mm. And I find there's beauty in the music of, of verse and iambic pentameter and operative words and secondary stresses. <laughs> and, uh, you know, sort of fascinating to think that you can pronounce a word two different ways. It's the same word. Mm -hmm. For example, revenue or revenue uh, to make it scan properly. Besides the whole acting thing. And uh, I, I think he's kind of fascinating because, um, you know, he, he really wants to slap Romeo at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to get him to understand that it's a blessing to be banished and not killed. Uh, they all seemed to want what I had to give. Oh, yes. Which was great. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, I didn't have to coerce them into learning anything. Um, they just they went for it. And, I'm, and I, I, when Kelly said she was going to do this project, and she said, you know, that all of their productions have been canceled this year, they just, I want, I want them to have something to work on. Like, Absolutely. I also have nothing going on. Do you have hope for the future of actors from what you're seeing in this, uh, in this school? I do, yeah. They, these students differ from others that I have worked with, um, mostly prior to the pandemic, who, uh, because that generation has been so accelerated mm -hmm. with um, having the entire world in the palm of their hand, ah. um, they want to know the absolute minimum in order to make millions of dollars. <laughs> like yeah. one of one of the, my protégés, who shall remain nameless. He just thinks Dwayne Johnson, that's, that's what he wants to be, a mediocre personality who makes piles of cash, which is different from being an actor. Yeah. That was a trend for a while where um, every student I was having, because I've done some teaching online too, mm -hmm. you know, individually. 
and they just they're not in love with the craft they're in love with the idea of being a celebrity and um, making making a bunch of money and i i think that um reality television has done a lot to um put forth that idea mm -hmm. um but with this group of kids i'll call them kids call them young adults they're kids um, yeah you know they uh they really they went for it as you yeah. say they uh they were thirsty for it and um and they wanted to do well and there's sort of a thing that that flipped in a few of them like the young lady who was playing mercutio she came miles between mm. the two rehearsals i had with her Mm -hmm. because we broke down the text we knew exactly what we were saying um and that allowed her to bring her own filters her own creativity to the words and that's really where you drop in with shakespeare 